Good morning guys and girls, Frenzy Penguin is my name still. Great to see you watching my vlog again. I'm pretty tired as I did not sleep tonight, worked hard on my thesis, trying to get that paper completely worked out. So pretty sleepy, sleepy, but uh, I've got some, yeah, some good news to wake me up. I've got mail. Are we going to open it together? It's sealed pretty heavily. <laughs> and this is the Steam Controller. Despite not having slept a lot, a Steam Controller is something that makes me happy, nevertheless. Finally, I will be able to play my keyboard games uh, that have controller support um, in a much flu more fluent way and maybe maybe it will upgrade my skills because I was a guy who liked playing PlayStation 3 but never upgraded to PlayStation 4. Let's open this thing and uh, see how it feels, how it looks and if it's worth your money because basically that's why you're watching isn't it? Do you want this on your watch list on Steam or not? Let's figure it out in a few together. After removing this marketing cover that says play your Steam games from your couch, it is a beautiful blue box with the Steam logo engraved on it. And if we Oh yeah, and this logo as well. If we open it, and we had to do some uh, tape cutting here for that. If we open it, this is what comes out. The Steam Controller. It has something like an Xbox controller, but then again, a lot like a PlayStation controller as well. I will charge this mother I will put it in. Oh, it feels good. Oh. Oh, it does feel really good. Really? Really? That's really amateur, actually. But nevertheless, with some Bluetooth connector thing I already have, but this one is especially from Steam. Alright guys and girls, being uploaded into this thing, which seems to have a light, which I didn't know about. And it beeps, because... The haptic feedback on this thing is just amazing. So... Maybe you hear it tap as well. That is the haptic feedback. You feel that in your finger as you move around. So the keyboard is separated into these two big controllers. Which one hand is impossible to use because I'm using the camera of course. Whoa, I really I really like the way this this works. It's really possible to to to, to use it to uh, type really fast actually. So yeah, that's pretty cool. I'm I'm happy this came into the the mail today, the Steam controller. And so the question remains. We are now one month later. The Steam controller is in my possession for the past weeks and I've been able to play a lot of games with it. Is it something you want to buy? That was the question you were wondering um, a few minutes ago, a month ago for me. Um, this Steam controller is kind of pricey. I think I paid like 56 euros for it. We should, we should try it out. We should check out some games to make sure that you see 
very good whether or not this steam controller would be something that that helps you with gaming that that gives you a very smooth gaming experience so that we have a very good comparison between um, the normal keyboard mouse uh, PC Gamer and uh, the Couch PC Gamer, a new race emerges. Here we go. Steam controller, nothing else. Continue. Running around is done with your hey, analog. The Ravello's goons have been tracking your pal Demas since your little missile joyride. Troubles are brewing, hombre. Meet me at Point Lorino. Alright, I will meet you at Point Lorino, maybe later, but first, moving happens with this button. All right. I think that's that's fairly proving that that works. You use your mouse with this trackpad. So, looking around up, down, left and right is all done with this trackpad. Is it very efficient and does it compensate for the lack of a mouse? Not at all. Is it a lag of experience and do you need some time to, to learn how to use this trackpad efficiently? Maybe, but I do not like how... Well, it, it's not sensitive enough. It's not accurate enough. Anyway, uh, that's my opinion. Oh, I just threw a grenade. Bye bye three, three. That wasn't quite the intention, but hell. Oh! These guys are here to check out what just happened. Come on, come on. Yes, alright. As you can see, I'm personally having some issues with controller. I do not consider it better. No, I do not consider it a better playing experience. Come on, reel in on the car. Do I have it? Yeah. That was on the car, I think. Hey, what are you doing? Not so bad. And let's try some driving. I didn't take the most magnificent car to check out whether or not driving is a good idea. But that's the only positive thing I have to say. Instead of the arrows, um, driving is much more fun with the analog, uh, analog button you have. Looking around happens with the trackpad. Oh, almost an accident there. All right. Oh, he's calling for reinforcements. Let's try to hit him. Come on, mouse trackpad, show me what you got. Just ah, no, no, no. This is not going pretty smoothly at all. Alright, I'm going to change, guys, I'm going to drop my controller now. There we go, and I change to mouse and keyboard. Don't explode yet. Alright. So my conclusion, I should drop the volume. No. Nope wearing my headset so my conclusion guys is that a steam controller for, for just cost 3 is only an improvement is only an improvement if we talk if we talk about if we talk about driving a car if you're talking about aiming What's your pre precision um, the way you feel the game there is nothing that beats the mouse and keyboard. Nothing. So... Cities, skylines. A very, very favorite one of mine, to be honest. Let's uh, continue game and hope that my 200,000 citizen city gets loaded pretty fast. I've heard this one was uh, even really featured in the demo of the Steam controller, the video that they put on Steam. So, yeah, this this should work. This should be very, very fluent. Once loaded. City Skylines is all about managing, building, designing and making your city efficient. All right.
I'm using the Steam controller right now. It's a really huge city I've designed uh, in, a, in a few nights of um, no lifing, let's be honest. Anyway, without bragging of my city, I want to check my Steam controller. I am intuitively going over to my keyboard and mouse because it's so much easier to work with. But uh, we were trying to, to, to do something with this. All right, hold on. Um, no, no, I don't want to. No, I don't want to. Okay, okay, so that's the mouse button. Ah. Nah. Oh, this is panning? I just found panning. Alright. This makes me happy already. I'm not sure if you can hear me struggle. Alright, so... Does it beat a mouse? Does it me be beat a keyboard? I would dare to say, not at all, not at all, but yeah, alright, let's say we want to build a new taxi station, which is a good example, I think, to check how it works and whether or not this is a good thing. I want to build it over here, yeah, so yeah, yeah, there, Oh, you're not very happy with it, sorry. Good, 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 good. So now we have like a taxi station over here. Next to the water. Makes sense, I guess, to build it here. All right, looks like we needed a lot of taxis in this huge city, as you can see them drive out. But, um,. Is, is this game more efficient, more fluent with the Steam controller? Maybe. If you're in a couch and you do not have access to your keyboard and mouse, so you're lazy, let's let that be a, a default um, necessary variable uh, for you to, to learn the Steam controller. So you ha you're in a couch, you're not close to your mouse and keyboard. You want to figure out if... Um, how the Steam Controller works. Yeah, you might want to remain seated in your couch and learn um, to use a Steam Controller. But no, online games like um, Counter-Strike, which we will check out soon, um, are not... you cannot play them better or um, easier uh, with the Steam Controller. I do not think so. Your, your precision with the mouse, with the trackpad that you have to replace the mouse, it's not sufficient. All right, so Steam Controller with Cities Skylines offers you the possibility to go to your couch and play the game, but uh, if you're sitting on a desk, at a desk, at a desk, yeah, uh, and you have access to your mouse and your keyboard, there's no reason for, to go for this. Up to the next game. The match is starting in a few seconds. Um, yeah, Counter-Strike Global Offensive with the Steam Controller. Is it worth it? Are we capable of the, yeah, of the same accuracy? No, we're not at all. Oh, I have to recharge. He's... Oh, no, don't knife me, you bitch! How do you knife with the Steam Controller? I don't know. Anyway, he's going to be inside of the house. Crouch a little. Okay, so this is crouching. This is my knife. No, I should have been... Come on, kill him already. Ah, come on. Pretty frustrating, I'm not gonna lie. Alright, so he's running up, he's dead. Oh, there is someone in the house still. Crouch, let him go in. Yeah, okay. Shoot his head up! Come on, how hard can it be? Guys, this is with a steam controller. I'm going to do one more respawn, one more uh, life with the steam controller and then change because I'm ruining my stats. Come on! Yes, finally I got a kill with the steam controller. Pretty happy about it. Where, where, go oh, behind me. Nice one, please. Really nice. All right. I'm dropping the steam controller, grabbing. Um, well, I had the intention of uh, grabbing. Huh? 
Is it not working? Why is it not working? So, I only have those. What? No, 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 no. You're gonna give me full access. Come on. So, if your controller is on, you can't use a keyboard? What's this all about? Oh, there. So, without having full control... Oh. My, uh, not all my movement keys are working, uh, and I've tried changing from 30 to 30. All right, l look at look at the difference. I'm standing still, so I'm not even able to move perfectly, and I already killed two guys from a distance just because my mouse is that accurate f compared to the Steam controller. How do, how did they expect us to to be satisfied with with the accuracy and the way that trackpad is working if? The, 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 the difference is this big yes, guys and girls I hope I hope you, you're coming to the same conclusion as I am right now the conclusion is that this steam controller might look good it might be handy to have like one controller one console one one thingy to control your game here we go, uh, this is another game called Gang Beasts. Gang Beasts, if you look at a lot of YouTubers who play games, this is not the first time you have seen Gang Beasts. This game, in contrary to Just Cause 3 or a lot of other games, has been created to be played with this Steam controller. Okay. That's jumping. How do I walk around? I want to walk around, you know. Can't... I... Walk... Around. So that's the headbutt. Alright, but I want to walk around. What happens is, from time to time, you have to update the firmware, uh, so update the software that's being used to control this Steam controller. Um, that's because a lot of games uh, support the Steam controller and have special code to work with it. So you have to update once in a while to make sure that happens. Now, it's not working for the, with the Steam controller, but I did not update Gang Beasts in a long time. That could be the reason. Um, but it works perfectly with keyboard uh, and mouse. Uh, so yeah. What button was it again? To throw in some... Uh, Oh, there we go. Yeah, that's the spawn button. Oh, oh, no, no, dude, I wanted to hit you, not you. Yes, but I fell again. I fell too. So, conclusion, update your game, update your Steam controller, and maybe Gang Beasts is uh, still compatible. Guys and girls, Frenzy Ping Ring is my name still. Hopefully you have a better idea whether or not this thing is something you would like to have um, and, and play with. Um, there are some benefits to it. It allows multiplayer on one PC. Um, if the game is designed specifically to support the Steam controller, you might get some benefit out of it uh, in the gameplay. But other than that, do not buy this Steam controller. You will be better off with a keyboard and a good mouse or um, an Xbox controller. I'm very sorry, Steam. I, I would love to promote this thing and say that it's better than the Xbox controller or a PlayStation controller or a third-party cheap-ass controller. But just by only having one analog stick like this and a trackpad to compensate the mouse, which is round and I must say that the haptic feedback isn't that magnificent anymore as the first time the batteries are clearly um, suffering from usage. I, I really want to thank you, thank you very much for watching, uh, drop me a like if you liked this episode specifically, subscribe to my channel for uh, all the videos. Thanks again for watching, Frenzy Pingwing signing off.